the gourd horn. Gourds um, have been grown all over the world for eons. This is an Indonesian bottle gourd. This is a Hawaiian dance mask. These are Mexican water bottles. I got the African wine kettles over there. All of these gourds that you see on the side all along the trellis were hanging down. So you had to kind of basically watch your head when you walk through here because it was a party, <laughs> a gourd party. Um, I grow a lot of dipper gourds because I like to use them for the bases for my lamps. So you cut it off like that. What's inside? Seeds. Seeds and gourd guts. A lot of my work as a gourd artist is scraping, scra you know, washing the exterior and then scraping out all that fluff. And just go back with a gourd saw. Pretty fancy. And yeah, I used my new carver. I was trying that out to make these relatively intricate designs on that lampshade. All my life I've been a dabbler in all kinds of arts, like since I was a toddler basically, you know, just like I'm always the kid who wants to go make something. I'm not satisfied with playing with dolls or with, I just want to be making something. I always want my hands to be busy. At the same time, I always had this, I, this feeling that there was some art that I had inside of me that, that needed to come out, and that feeling got stronger and stronger. We were driving to a woodcarver's convention in Cander, New York. They were having a little um, expose of their, their woodcarver's work, and I wanted to check that out, and so did Otto, and we were going there, and then we, we, we were just driving along and something caught my eye. What was that? You know, just kind of like that. What was that? And then stop the car. There it is. And it was gourds. It was just like half a dozen gourds sitting at the end of somebody's driveway. And I think what caught my, I mean, I know what caught my eye is the shape. The shape of gourds is like the most intriguing thing, I think, for me. But we went and we uh, talked with the guy who grew them and we learned about growing gourds and we had this pile of gourds growing and uh, piling up and um, so a year or so later, I just started messing around with them. And the way Otto puts it, he says, I came home one day and she was making a lamp. This kind of silly thing that we do in the American Gourd Society, we tie knots in gourds. You can go out like in July in the heat of a day. So on a day when the gourd is a little bit soft and wilty, you know, you can just really gradually start to bend it around and then maybe an hour or two later you go out and you give it a little twist again and then that's grad how you gradually tie a knot in a gourd there's a contest for like who can manipulate a gourd so we entered we first entered the contest in 2014 with this gourd and we won in new york state we won again in 2015 but we got third place in 2014 nationally, but we didn't get any prize in 2015. And then in 2016, we did this one. We just wrapped it around a PVC pipe as it was growing. It was actually pretty easy. So we won first prize again, no surprise in New York State. And uh, then we um, got first prize nationally with that too. They, they, uh, they posted our photo on the cover of the Gord magazine. Look here, check this out. Is not <laughs> Did you see what this is? Did you no. see this? Yep. 